We are Bradley Barr, Paul Hahn, and Eric Wood, and we did our project on drilling rock and earth. Drilling of rock and earth is a huge part of the construction process and plays a very important role in the world today. Our group focused on three main topics for this project. Types of drilling, drilling equipment, and drilling improvements. Although many types of drilling are accessible, one can focus in on three main styles which include soil drilling, directional drilling, and horizontal drilling and boring. Many types of equipment are used for drilling soil and the purpose for each type varies with the application. Although soil drilling can take place both horizontally and vertically, it is ordinarily done vertically. Directional drilling on the other hand is usually done horizontally. Common reasons for directional drilling include installation of utilities and natural resources extraction. One of the biggest advantages of using directional drilling is the ability to install underground utilities without disrupting items on the surface which are already in place and in use. Horizontal drilling and boring is always done horizontally and requires the boring machine to sit within a pit commonly known as a boring pit. As the drill is pushed into the hole, sections of sleeves are pushed directly behind. After each section of sleeve is pushed into the bore, the ram that performs the pushing is retracted and a new sleeve section is joined to the sections already present within the bore. One great advantage of horizontal boring pertaining to water lines is that bends are not a substantial problem. Three types of drills are percussion, rotary, and abrasion. Percussion drills disintegrate rock by smashing it into pieces. A, roting, a rotating motion is applied to the drill bit as it hammers into the rock. Rotary drills consist of a steel pipe drill stem with a roller bit at the bottom. As the bit rotates, it grinds the rock. Abrasion drills can grind rocks into small particles through the abrasive effect of a bit that rotates in the hole. The bit is the essential part of a drill as it is the part that must engage and disintegrate the rock. Bits are available in various sizes, shapes, and hardness. Carbide insert bits consist of tonskin carbide that is embedded in steel. These bits are more expensive than steel bits but have a greater drilling rate. Button bits can yield faster penetration rates in a wide range of drilling applications. They are available in different cutting face designs and are usually never reconditioned. As we advance into the further depths of our generation, it is only natural that new technology for drilling rock and earth has become available as well. Hundreds of years ago, drilling rock would be defined as a human striking the ground with a pickaxe. In today's world, we have come as far as percussion drills, jackhammers, drifters, rotary drills, abrasion drills, and diamond drills, all of which are thousands of more percent more efficient than a simple pickaxe. The introduction of engine and battery powered machinery have made time management and drilling much easier to control. In the past, rock drills have primarily been pneumatic percussion based. Recently, these drills have been converted to hydraulic percussion operation because of combined gains in performance and efficiency. Shockwave theories are the design that these new percussion drills are based on. Because of the small thrust required, the rig weight of these percussion drills can be made quite light. These are more efficient than the rotary drills whose performance primarily depends upon rig weight. New drilling equipment also allows us to be more accurate and deeper with our desired holes due to the vast selection of bits now available. The most important upgrade is in the field of safety. The highest grade of efficiency is a project where no one is hurt. Improvements in both equipment and safety have made the drilling world a much more desirable field today. Safety in drilling involves both people and the environment. Technology has once again been the savior for humans, but this time in protection. Large drilling machines now have sensors and radars that can detect the obstruction of any person or object in their path, saving many lives. This also means that an experienced individual should be the only one allowed to use such machinery. A new found danger in rock drilling has emerged which is not quite as obvious. Exposure to crystalline silica during rock drilling can cause serious or fatal respiratory disease. Now many sites conduct air monitoring to measure worker exposure. In conclusion, drilling may be, may be performed for many different purposes. The efficiency at which it can be executed is a direct reflection of the innovative methods and equipment. Research helped our group learn the history of drilling and how it has evolved over centuries. 
We developed an understanding that over the past 20 years, directional drilling technology has been adapted to the construction industry for horizontal work. New technology has enabled the installation of underground utilities without the need to disrupt surface facilities. The challenge of finding ways to drill at faster rates without exponential cost increase continues and is becoming more realistic with new innovative technology.